example in so many different areas, and then also by her prayers. In the same way we pray for each other, is that she's always up there praying for us. I hope that after everything that we said, that some people would change their mind about the Virgin and her role in your life. All of history has honored her and has held her in the highest and of highest states until recently. And I hope that we can kind of go back down that track because that's the way she should be. I'll finish off with two quotes right here. First, from Martin Luther again, and he says it very, very powerfully right here. One should honor Mary as she herself wished and as she expressed it in the Magnificat. She praised God for his deeds. How then can we praise her? The true honor of Mary is the honor of God, the praise of God's grace. Mary is nothing for the sake of herself, but for the sake of Christ. Mary does not wish that we come to her, but through her to God. Regardless of your opinion, regardless of the, of the way you grew up, the opinion of the church has always been the same. That she is to be held, as it says there, in the highest of honor. Okay? And our church teaches us this every time in the morning prayer. Like I said, regardless of what you believe about the virgin, let me tell you the truth about the virgin. Okay, this is one thing that we pray in the morning hour of the Egbeah that we say together. You are the mother of the light. These are all facts, okay? These are not prayers. These are facts which we are stating. That she is the mother of the light because Christ is the true light. Who is honored from the rising of the sun to its setting. Because the Bible says that she's higher than the, or than the, than the cherubim and the seraphim. And she's getting praised up in heaven. She's honored from the rising of the sun to its setting. And is offered glorification of mother of God, the second heaven. You are the lighted blossom, the unchangeable mother, and humility, the ever virgin. Here's the important part that I want you all to walk out of here and remember this. Regardless of how you feel, regardless of what you want, the Father chose her, the Holy Spirit overshadowed her, and the Son has come down and was incarnate from her. Now it's your decision to figure out what, she's, what your response to her is going to be. Okay? Let's stand up for a prayer.